All right, everyone, you're looking at uh, border wall there with Mexico and Texas. I'll show you where I'm at. Uh, you can see Mexico here, of course, Houston, Dallas up here. And I'll zoom in a little so I can show you a little bit better. Uh, there's Brownsville. I am west of Brownsville. The wife and I are going to explore Brownsville in a video coming up. But today I'm just going to kind of cruise along the border of Mexico and see what's here. Um, of course this is Texas, US, and this white part here, let's give it a second, this will pop off. This is Mexico. Okay, this is the Rio Grande right here. Rio Grande kind of winds in here. And uh, 281 is the road I'm going to kind of cruise up. It's called Military Highway. Sounds ominous, doesn't it? But anyway, um, yeah, I'm just going to kind of cruise along the border, probably all the way over to uh, McAllen and Hidalgo. So that's what we're going to do today. Explore. Uh, Texas right along the Mexico border see what it looks like but anyway yeah there's a section of border wall there and that's the road that the uh, Border Patrol accesses so I'm going to cut a left here and uh, we're going to see what it looks like uh, I'm going to uh, take a look at some of the neighborhoods right along here. Yeah, so there's the fence. And these are homes that are right on the border. This is really neat, isn't it? Wow. Uh, died 1979. It's a small cemetery, but it's got some really awesome looking uh, tombstones on it. Wow. Yeah, now the Rio Grande is about 200 feet that way. So this is right on the border. Very uh, Mexican influenced, you can tell. Anyway, okay. I'm going to get back out on the road. I'm about to enter a town called San Pedro Colonia. And I'll show you down the map here. So, uh, yeah, this is the town. This is Mexico. And this is Texas. You know, the Rio Grande. Um, yeah, I'm thinking let's go take a look at this town. See what it looks like. Well, the town is pretty quiet. Uh, it doesn't really seem to have you know what you would call a downtown uh, just appears to be residential uh, I'm just going to get back out on uh, military road I don't know what's going on right there Guy's taking a picture of his cow. That was something. Mm. Okay, there's a uh, a car dealership. How about that? Uh, yes, we are open. It said. All right, I have turned off Military Road. I am on Hernan Rodriguez Jr. Road. It, uh, here you can see I'm heading straight for the border. So I'm thinking maybe it's interesting. Let's take a look. I'm one of those people that just want to see what places look like. What can I say? very close to uh, where the river kind of makes a bend there oh wow well yeah. 
there's some border wall. Yeah, you can see the border control guy. He's uh, the truck there on the other side of it. Show you. A, I'll give you a look. See here. And we've got some fencing here, uh, but that's about it. And it just kind of stops. Let's see if I can go up here and turn around. Yeah, there's the Border Patrol guy heading that way. Looks like there's some kind of construction or something here. Yeah, it says uh, restricted area, no trespassing, so I guess I'm not allowed to go there. Well, I'm just going to turn around and get out of here and go to some other interesting places. But yeah, you can see the, water, the wall right there. We've got a big section here. Interesting. Continuing down this road, I want to show you where I'm at. So you can see uh, military road is directly ahead of me. And it looks like a couple towns there, in Incantada Colonia and El Calabaz. And you can see where the border really bumps up close to them. So I'm gonna head there, check that out. Yeah, I'm in a neighborhood here, Incantada Colonia. Let's just uh, check things out, check out the neighborhood. Somebody likes Jeeps. there I'm not sure where I'm at I saw this road it looked interesting uh, yeah you can see the Mexican border is right in front of me this is it right here Yeah, it looks like there's some construction going on here. You can see the uh, border fence right up ahead of me. Yeah. Let's see if we can see better down there. Yeah, so uh, that's the Rio Grande. Or well, the Rio Grande's right on the other side of the border fence. Not sure what they're doing down there. It's kind of quiet here. Hmm. Well, I'm going to uh, head back up and go check out El Calabaz. It's a bumpy road, though. Yeah, into here. I'll show you real quick. El Calabaz. Got some horses here. I don't see a fence. I guess they just know to not leave this pasture. Little tiny uh, green area. Huh. Now well, let's see what's up here. lot of trucks, 18-wheelers, uh, parked here.
Johnny's Country Store. Wow. Uh, this road is called Main Street, believe it or not. Doesn't look like a Main Street, does it? Uh, let's see. Alright, so you can see, uh, kind of heading to the border. These are all these squiggles. Uh, that's the Rio Grande. And, uh, yeah, it looks like there's border fence access right here. This looks like a road that uh, Border Patrol probably uses. Yeah, so I'm just going to go up here real quick, turn around. But you can see, yeah, you can see the fence here. And it ends. Right here. I'll we'll go up here and take a quick look. Yeah, restricted area. No trespassing. U.S. government property. So I guess I can't go up there. Anyway, yeah, pretty cool. Kind of weird that the fence just ends here. And then there's just no fence at all this direction. Hmm. Uh, I'm in Los Indios right now. I'll give you a real quick look. I'm heading directly for what looks like an international bridge. Uh, so we're going to take a quick look. Illegal to carry firearms, ammunition into Mexico. Penalty, prison. Uh, Mexican law. Can you read that? Wow. All right. Well, I don't want to go drive into Mexico right now, so I'm going to... Uh, I'll just turn around. All right, heading into Los Indios. See what it looks like. Mm -hmm. it says it's got a city hall in this direction. Uh, let's go see what we can find. Well, for all intensive purposes, I'm guessing this must be a beautiful downtown Los Indios. Not a lot going on here, huh? A couple of police cars. Uh, Los Indios Police Department is right there. Looks like uh, they got a town park. And that's pretty much it. Uh, Mary Lou's Mexican food, seafood restaurant. US Highway 281. I've turned off and I'm on Benson Road, it's called. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. You can see two sections of border fence and nothing on either side. It just seems odd to me. I guess this must be one of the areas where it was never finished. Because it's kind of pointless, isn't it? <laughs> to just have these two short sections. I'm going to drive up to them. Yeah, you just got a short section here and another little bit longer over here to the left. And um, that's it. Doesn't seem to make a lot of sense, does it? Uh, 
close. Take a look on the map. Yeah. You can see I'm almost on the border, on top of it. Looks like the Rio Grande is right there on the other side of that hill. Huh. I'll just uh, come up here and turn around. So it's border patrol access there. Wow. That's kind of interesting. It's quiet here though. Looks like the next town I'm gonna hit is Iglesia Antigua. I'm in uh, Iglesia Antigua. I'll show you where I'm at. Uh, I'm on a road called River Road and it looks like it heads straight to the Rio Grande. So, I'm going to check it out. Uh, here you can see I'm over halfway there. I'm getting real close. Yeah, it looks like uh, I'm near the end of the line. There's a gate here. Here, I'll show you real quick. You can see I'm right on top of the border. Watch for oncoming traffic. Huh. Well, it looks like we've got a couple of access roads on either side of it. You knew there was going to be one, didn't you? There it is. It's actually <laughs> maybe the third one that I've seen. I uh, guess I'll head into this residential area and see what it looks like. Very small town, though. St. Margaret Ann Catholic Church. How about that? Do you think uh, it's in operation, if you will? Progresso now. Uh, driving around a residential neighborhood. Hmm. Sarmiento Groceries. Open. It's a small grocery store, isn't it? Not a whole lot to the town, just a few blocks here. Yeah, I'm not sure what all that means. this road goes through. Hmm. I just came upon this house here in Progresso. 
Uh, looks like it was just built. It's almost shaped like a shotgun house, isn't it? That's very interesting design. There's a border patrol guy. Uh, I don't know if you can see him. See him in his truck right there, border patrol. Keeping an eye on things. Huh. Yeah, can you see the fence? Lots of big open sections. I think I can drive along uh, this one. Some sort of gate. Yeah, there's a border patrol guy right here. Just uh, sitting there keeping an eye on stuff. I'm in Hidalgo right now. I'll give you a look of it. Look at it on the map here. So they got the Rio Grande border here. This is Reynosa, uh, which is a pretty big Mexican border town. So yeah, I'm still on this road. Uh, yeah, that's the border of Mexico right there. Uh, it's just a <laughs> like a regular chain link fence there. Uh, fence there. Um, Woo, these roads are rough. Holy cow. <sighs> anyway, yeah, so. Yeah, it's kind of bizarre. Uh, like I said, you just got like chain link fence here. And then there's a little bit of the bigger fence with the gate put in. Let me drive up there, turn around. So you've got this gate a big fence around it and you can see it's just uh, just a regular fence here and so you're looking into Mexico here all right I'm gonna turn around all right, so I'm heading the other direction. Uh, right there in the middle of the frame, that's uh, buildings in Reynosa. I don't know if I'm supposed to drive here. Probably not. I'm gonna head back down. This is where I'm at. So it's just west of Brownsville is where I started. And then uh, I'm in Hidalgo now, so I've covered this section of the border. I'm going to make a trip up into McAllen right now. But yeah, I'm going to do sections of the border all the way up to El Paso over the next couple weeks. So uh, that's what we'll have coming. Uh, the wife and I will actually be going to Brownsville together. And uh, of course South Padre Island, we're going to stay there for several days. Anyway. Right now then, going ahead to McAllen, one of the biggest cities in the Rio Grande Valley. I want to say the second biggest after Brownsville. All right, I'm approaching downtown McAllen. Uh, it's about six, seven miles north of the border with Mexico and Reynosa. Uh, second biggest city in the Rio Grande Valley, 147,000 people right behind Brownsville. Uh, which has got about 182,000. All together, the metro population of the valley is about 1.4 million. So... Turn left onto Erie Avenue, then turn left onto South 12th Street. All right, well, you got Siri directing me. Uh, anyway, yeah, 1.4 million. That's not insignificant. This is uh, 
a pretty big population area now, a uh, metro population. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do a little bit of a drive through here. Uh, it's really pretty, isn't it? It's a pretty nice town. When you're out on a freeway, you can see these huge palm trees in every direction. It's pretty cool. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna end the video here. Like I said, I'm gonna be exploring the border all the way up to uh, El Paso, so be looking for those. Uh, next video will be Brownsville. So the wife and I are gonna explore that town and we're gonna uh, cross the border into Mexico, Matamoros. So uh, that will be the next video. So, yeah, be looking for that.